In this video, I would like to have a look at Lazarus, an IDE development platform for free Pascal. Okay, let's do this. Back in the day, I used to use uh, Borland Pascal or even before Pascal to develop applications. Pascal is a really neat and very nice programming language, which is not being used so often. I've seen um, on the internet that uh, it's um, mainly used is in the educational so, um, system. So some high schools still like to teach Pascal, but it's um, a really nice programming language from the old days uh, de developed by Nicholas v uh, Wirth. And um, Lazarus is a um, free alternative to the former Delphi. Um, which I think it belongs to Embarcadero now uh, and allows to uh, do what was called uh, RAD, Rapid Application Development, and it is really awesome. So let's see, we go here to the application, so you can install uh, Lazarus uh, under development, we go to the ID and click Lazarus. The first thing you're going to be greeted with is the, the welcome screen that would require you to type in some things. Here we need to enter slash user slash local slash share. And now it depends on the free Pascal version that you have installed. In my system, I have 3.2.3. .3. So I put FPC um, dash source dash 3.2.3 and it should uh, it should say okay under the debugger create a new recommended um, backend and it cannot find gdb by itself so you need to add the path user local bin gdb and all should be fine click on start ide and it will be configured So here we see uh, the project, um, the Lazarus project, we see the object inspector and we see here the uh, concept of the rapid application development where we have a window where we can place several components. We have some standard components, additional uh, common controls, dialogues, etc. Um, we're going just to stick with the standards uh, for the time being. We also have a unit, so we can uh, name this differently, uh, which is currently unit one, but uh, it will serve for our purposes. So to add um, a very simple button, we just click here on the OK, for example, and we click here, create a button, and you can see that the, we have a form here. This is the window and the first button, the button number one, we can um, call this button button i think um where is this so uh, rename okay we cannot do this for now so let's leave it like that so when we add the button yes we do have here the name we can rename this as uh, quit button for example and you see that here the form, it's changed the, the text automatically. The quit button is a, t, a type T button. Uh, and um, yeah, if you click here on the button, you have some events that you can have. So on click, uh, you can just double click here. Uh, error in the implementation of the method. So this was <coughs> before I added something here. So we need to remove this. Mm -hmm. and we can just double click again and it will appear okay so we are fine and let's just um, make the button quit um, for that I'm going to call the application and uh, go for the method I think uh, terminate should be fine Uh, the button, I still would like to have something different in the caption, so uh, we can put an N% percent quit app, something like this. And you see here there is the queue which is underlined with the queue uh, quit application. 
Let's test this out so we can compile. Compiling the target, it's green, success. And we see now the project is leaving. Form, uh, form one with the quit app. If we click the button, that execution stopped. We are really cool. Um, as you see, this is really rapid application development. In no time, I just developed an, um, an application where you can click a button and uh, yeah, it's just quitting the application. But uh, <clears throat> let's do something more interesting. So let's take here um, a label. Okay, so I'm going to name it uh, the name. So um, uh, show label. Okay. And here in the caption, I'm going to just to, sh uh, to show uh, some X's for the time being. <clears throat> uh, and I'm going to add an entry here, the edit box. So let's change the name to edit, um, edit field. Uh, no, this is the text. So this is not what I want uh, here edit field and here uh, in the edit field so i'm going to leave this empty for the time being and just add something like that add another button okay positioning with the grids really nice way to position the buttons um, the width and the height okay now it was matching <coughs> And let's just call this the load button. Load button. And the caption, let's just put load. Okay. Uh, actually, let's make the application a little bit more compact. Something like this. Now, if we click on button, the button, so I can just do a double click here. And for the time being, I'm just going to go for this one, which is the show label. Show label dot. I think it's the caption. Caption is a property, which I can just say dash uh, semicolon equals. Uh, strings in Pascal have a single quote. Uh, so this is going to be test. So let's run this application, compiling, everything is okay. Now we have uh, the application running, we just click on load and we just change the text here to test. Nice, so quit. Now we can, <clears throat> for example here, um, we can have the label. So this is the edit field. We can just say edit field dot um, text I think dot text yes so this is going whatever we type in here is going to be loaded there but let's do a little bit more so what can we do here we can uh, change the color for example here in the we could have a show label color uh, sorry, font, color, and let's set this to color blue, and let's run the application. Okay, if I type here, hello world, click on load, we get a hello world in blue color. Let's just make a little bit more fun, so the load button has a should have a different color let's put let's put it in green and this one here uh, the the color could be fuchsia for the form one we should have a caption somewhere here my uh, awesome app and the color of the window is going to be um, cream Okay, we run again and we have a nice application with some horrible colors, but uh, this is working. Nice, this is working. Quit application. <coughs> we could also set a breakpoint here. 
Okay, so um, debug. So toggle, toggle breakpoint could be the F5 key. F5 key or just right click toggle breakpoint. And we can also select on the run. Um, we could say run uh, with debugging. So without debugging, but run, this is run with debugging. We can click here. And now when the application is running, we can just type in something here and click on load. And you see our debugger basically stops here and we can do step-by-step -step execution now. <clears throat> so under the debugging project, um, so sorry, on the run, we have the step, step in two, we step the, the step over, the step out, we just can just click F8 and we see things happening here and then um, continue. So run to cursor, run parameters, we just can click on the run to continue the program. So yes, we loaded the things here. We can, uh, while this is executing, we can click the <coughs> the button to disable the breakpoint and again uh, this should be running normally okay so that's it for today if you like the video please give it a thumbs up if you have some questions or suggestions please leave a comment down below otherwise i wish you have a great day and see you next time thank you and bye bye